This video explains the game red light, green light, or as we might know it here in the UK, grandmother's footsteps. So of course this red light, green light comes from the series Squid Game. And if your student or your child is under 15, they shouldn't be watching it because it has been UK rated as a 15. But I've had lots of students and children ask me what is red light, green light. And out of the Squid Game context, there's really no problem with playing that game. And in actual fact, I've used it under the title Grandmother's Footsteps with the prep school aged children before. So here it is. You have one person at one end of the room and the rest of the class at the opposite end. I name that one person Grandma when we're doing Grandma's Footsteps. You can name them whatever you like, but you've got the leader facing away from the rest of the group behind them. Green light is go. The students walk or run, if you permit them, towards the grandma at the other end. However, she's facing away. So she shouts green light as she's away. They can go, they can run or walk or skip or hop or whatever you've decided towards her. And she turns around, she says red light. This means everybody must stop, freeze as still as they can. It's really good for concentration and physicality. They need to freeze. If she or he spots somebody moving, they are either out of the game or as I like to play it, they go back to the start of the room. So they can still continue with the game, but wherever they've got to across the room, they need to go back to the start. If you like, you can take or draw a finish line by grandma, if that helps you. But basically the first person to reach them is the winner of the game, or if several people get across, they win the game. And the last are losers, if you want to have winners and losers. I just prefer to keep sending them to the back and then get the winner, the first one that tags grandma, gets to be grandma in the next game. So that's when they are facing away, the students approach them, when they turn around to look at them, the students freeze and they must keep really, really still. And if the grandma spots them moving, then they need to move to the back of the room and start again. Whereas everybody else who wasn't spotted moving can carry on from their position and have got more chance of tagging the grandma. I hope this helps explain the red light, green light game that has become so popular recently.